Harry Potter Magic Awaken is introducing a new 3v3 PvP dueling feature for this next update and more. Let's talk about it. Yo, this is your boy James over at Spectre.go bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Harry Potter Magic Awaken content. This update comes to us courtesy of the Harry Potter Magic Awaken blog site. Reading patch notes and maintenance update for September 5th, 2023, which is tomorrow by the time I'm recording Tuesday. Now, it reads, maintenance, Harry Potter Magic Awaken will be offline for a scheduled server maintenance as it is all the time on Tuesday, September 5th for 2023. So make sure you check back for the new updates once the server is down. So you won't be able to play the game. We are used to that. But here are the key updates, starting with the season story, chapter two. The second chapter of the Beaters, Bludgers, and Broomstick season will be available following maintenance. Continue your Quidditch theme adventure with friends. I've been enjoying the story. I've been enjoying um, what they're piecing together in regards to the mystery and what's going on with the brooms and now the wands and overall what's happening on top of being able to try the new Quidditch feature. A feature I have been excited for playing the beta test. So I'm enjoying the story, but we're getting chapter two with that. So let's go. Next up is the team exploration update right quick. Uh, challenge the dangerous acromantular for bountiful rewards. War progress has been reset for team exploration off the path, which is normally every week so nothing new there interested to see how the aftermaster will work the new foe so we'll test it out live for you guys on tuesday just to try out the new features but this is the big one i'm very excited about and that is the time limited fearsome three duels i don't know why they didn't do fearsome threesome duels that would have been that would have rolled off the tongue <laughs> but dueling enthusiasts will now be able to duel in terms and teams of three expand your horizons in the dueling club by expanding your team size during this time limited event now this is huge for you boy because i enjoy uh the partner duels more so, more so than the solo duels in my opinion it's a lot more chaotic it's a lot more fun and uh you get to do play with friends which i think is the strength of this game that being said with three, you get to add to the chaos, you get to add to the fun, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, I have seen how it worked in the Taiwanese servers early on, and it's different than what I expected. Um, and I'm hesitant to share how it looked because it could be different now for the global community than what it was when it was initially introduced. So we will see you guys, feel free to look that up. But nonetheless, I am very excited about this and excited about the honest, uh, strats people will come with with this type of dueling system it's going to be time limited so it might have like a little quirk instead of being a straight up uh, 1v1 2v1 or 3v1 it might have a little quirk which might be a downside to it in my opinion but nonetheless i'm excited to try it and again we'll be doing it live for you guys tomorrow so be on the lookout for that i hope they add it to the tournaments as well because i run tournaments every week and weekend on wednesdays and saturdays on our discord so i hope they add it there but nothing about that so yo be on the lookout let me know in the comment section below you guys excitement for a 3v3 dueling feature in dueling club Next up is the Forbidden Forest Explorer update, where during the event, players can exchange lanterns for double rewards in the first two runs of Into the Woods 1, 2, and 3 each day. The event begins on September 12th, 2023, and will last until uh, September 18th, 2023, so about a week. Now, this sounded good until I didn't see the gold part of the into the wood section meaning you can't double your gold which is a bummer now you can double your ingredients and even your echoes apparently if i'm reading this correctly but this would have been clutch if you were able to double your gold which means they're still locking you when it comes to your gold and how you're able to obtain it outside the new features like the beast interactions and of course the into the uh, woods paths and of course your social club adventure. So yeah, um, I think this is great for those who are still trying to get their perfect echoes for dueling and trying to maximize that. This is great. And um, it's a nice little uh, quirk when it comes to the Forbidden Forest Into the Woods feature that is kind of just straightforward. So nothing new there, but it would have been nice if we would have 
added it to the gold uh, path, honestly. That would have been real clutch. So uh, we'll see if they eventually add it. But for now, I'm kind of like missed opportunity since they didn't do it with the gold path. Next up is Mastering the Magic by attending Hogwarts with you correctly answering questions from the Weasley twins to claim rewards. This is something that's currently in the game, it's been in the game. Answer the question, right? You get a free reward, and even if you share it, you get additional rewards. Uh, the rewards aren't that big, but you know, free gems is always clutch, especially since gems are so hard to come by. But the thing is, you can't use gems on a lot of the bundles that they're promoting. They require you to use actual real money or jewels. So um, you might want to skip this, but nonetheless, this is a feature for free gems if you want to use them. A cool new feature that's coming courtesy of the Quidditch is the now available broomstick customization. Select from a variety of appearances, create a one of a kind look for your broomstick. So I'm interested to see how in depth we can get with our customization. I'm assuming color, I'm assuming wood, I'm assuming even uh, little tassels and decorations we can add onto our broomstick. So I'm excited about this. Um, I again enjoy quidditch loved it during the beta and i'm um, having fun with it so far it's tougher than it was in the beta but nonetheless adding to your own characteristic your own style that this game promotes so well with the new clothes and outfits and stuff a customization feature for the broomstick just makes a lot of sense so excited to try that out for you guys next a new mystery wheel the mystery wheel has all new quidditch theme rewards which i know our discord has been looking for particularly with the outfits the rewards for the mystery wheel have been updated and will be available from Sep september 12 2023 to october 9th 2023 and this time limited prizes will be legendary outfit official quidditch uniform then legendary wine squ uh, skin the seekers prize and legendary owl collard scoops outlet whatever that is and then a legendary broom customization set golden snitch this sounds sick this sounds amazing um it's just in the mystery wheel so your chances of getting it is going to be very slim but i know some of the cats in our community and particularly in our discord will definitely be trying to get this uh drip and the new outfit particularly and the brooms uh customization set so um you might want to save your wing keys not so much for this current uh, mr wheel but the upcoming mr wheel for this one particularly if you're into quidditch like i am and then lastly the new season of magic pass for september that dropped this past Friday on September 1st, back to Hogwarts Day. Uh, you guys have seen it, so I'm not going to go too much into that. But those are your updates and patch notes for this September coming tomorrow, September 5th. So again, be on the lookout for server maintenance. The server will be down. You will not be able to access the game. But once it's done, you guys will be, will be privy to these new features and details. And we will be trying them live for you guys. So be on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification notification bell for more harry potter magic awakened content thank you guys so much for watching the video and hanging out with you boy if you enjoyed the video be sure to check out the video to your right with my predictions from the back to hogwarts day event seeing the new harry potter magic awakened updates and hogwarts legacy updates and more hope you guys have a magical day i'll see you in the next video until next time